Uh, let's talk about vision. One of the things that they all, the motivational speakers talk about, because I'm a pseudo, I'm not a motivational speaker, I'm a speaker. And when I go to schools, I talk about vision and, and, a, and a purpose in life and writing your vision down and having a goal and that kind of stuff. And sometimes I'm very negative. And I tell the students, I say, you know, like, I tell the students in a minute, in the public, public schools, the schools I talk to, in the hood, you know, in Chicago, only 7% of the incoming freshmen will, will obtain a college degree by the age 25. That was not the exact. It was a few years, it was a study. University of Chicago, they said only 7% of incoming freshmen, freshmen and in Chicago public schools will obtain a four-year college degree by the age 25. Daunting statistics. And as some of these students, they want to be doctors and lawyers, and sometimes I just tell them, you ain't going to do it. So it's reverse psychology, but they just ain't. They're not going to do it. They don't have the skills. They don't have the education. They don't have the motivation. Somebody got to be real with some people. Everybody ain't going to be no basketball player. It's not about to happen. Everybody can't be a Chris Brown or Usher and sing and dance or Beyonce. Very few people have that talent. Most of us, like I tell the students in the public school, most of us only make $100, $200, if we're lucky, $300 a day, which ain't no money. And those who make four and five are paycheck to paycheck. They ain't paycheck to paycheck. Because I know if you make that kind of money, they ain't paycheck to paycheck. Because no matter what money, I don't give you a millionaire, the whole trick is living below your means, which is hard in this economy. You know what I'm saying? Because they tell you to spend all your damn money. Commercials all day, spend all your damn money. So, I, so the students get mad at me sometimes. Mr. Sims, I thought you was a motivational speaker. No, I'm not. A, I'm a pseudo motivational speaker. I give a quasi motivational lecture. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you how it really is. I'm gonna make it real. And if you don't like it, prove to me that I'm wrong and you're right. Very few people get out the ghetto and become a millionaire. Very few. Everybody got that damn dream, but you got to be real. You got to tell folks you are underclass. You are working class. You are lower middle class. And if you want to get to the higher levels, this is what you have to do. Now, are you ready to do it? I'm where I am in, in over here at 95th and Halsted because I just don't want to. I don't like working hard. I don't want to do the things that successful people do. They are the people monetarily successful. You know, great achievement. These folks work hard. They were born with this passion to achieve. You know what I'm saying? Like Michael Jordan's will to win. You can't. You don't buy Michael Jordan's will to win. You're born with that. Things happen, a convergence of things, and boom, you have this will to win. Very few people have it. So you got to get real and understand where you are, who you are, and, and, get, and, and set realistic goals. Okay, you know, very few people can jump from, uh, from 25 grand a year to a million dollars in one year. Very few people can do that. Very few. And then from 25 to 35, plausible. Very, you can do that maybe. 25 and 50 to 75. Kind of hard, but you could. You know, you can do like three to five percent. You can do that, but you know, set the re set realistic goals and be a real. We gotta be realistic with these children. And I tell them, as I said, I'm not the best parent. I'm not the best husband. I'm not the best talk show host. I just try to be my best. And like I said, I go into public schools via the Black Star Project, and I, I no one never tells me, asks me to come back, especially these women, you know, because I'm sort of you know pro man. I'm not anti woman, but I'm sort of sure with this pro man, and those, and women don't like that. And then I tell the students the cold hard truth. And then since I'm a pseudo black nationalist, a pseudo, you know, pan, and I would say pan Africans, I'm, I, I'm from that liberation, agitation, you know, movement from the 70s. So I got I to gotta tell you what the real deal is. And folks don't want to hear that. They want to be coddled and tell them Jesus is going to come down and make it all right. They don't want to hear the cold hard truth because it hurts. It's painful. But that's what I do. But after I knock it all down, then we build it all up, and then we build inspiration. But you got to be real first. You got to just like it's just like they when they build these buildings, the big uh, you know even buildings in Chicago, little house or even a big building, they dig the foundation deep. They build a strong foundation, and then they go back up. And sometimes it takes a long. You see these buildings built downtown, some of these high rises. It takes a long time to build that 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 foundation. But then once the foundation is is made solid, then all of a sudden. I mean, then it start, the building starts going up 60 stories in the air. But it takes a long time to get that foundation built. So we have to really work on that foundation, a strong foundation, and we got to get real and get down to the nitty-gritty, and then you can go build people back up. Do you understand that? I'm, I'm not here to win a popularity contest. I'm here to tell you what's real. And in a minute, I'm going to tell you what's really real.